Hello and welcome to my internet show. My studio is an absolute mess today. As you can see, I've got a MIDI guitar in from a client of mine. I've never played a MIDI guitar. It's got the MIDI pickup, okay? So it's going to be a, like a synthesizer. Anyways, I'm going to clean it up and I'm going to set it up and uh, we're going to see how it sounds. <laughs> So I've got this guitar set up, and this is uh, just a normal electric guitar, basically, but it has this MIDI pickup attached. And this is the Roland GK2A. Now, I have never, in all my years of playing guitar, had the opportunity to actually play a MIDI guitar, and I haven't even tested this out yet. My first impressions ever of a MIDI guitar, so get pumped. So firstly, it connects to this module, which you can't really see too well. It's a little box down here. This is a special... 13 pin cable that it connects to and I'm not even gonna connect to the regular output jack I'm just gonna plug in the MIDI unit and we're gonna see how that sounds. I've got piano tech open here um, because I like it and <laughs> Oh goodness <laughs> We're gonna see how well it works with piano tech. Let's just go for it. It's in tune at least It's not bad. I mean, I know MIDI guitars can have some issues with tracking. I don't really know anything about <laughs> the unit and uh, hopefully I don't need to know too much. I guess we're gonna find out. I have it on synth only. What happens, it's got a guitar mode on this switch. It says guitar, mix, or synth. It doesn't seem to do anything for uh, what I have it on right now. These buttons on it are doing something on the interface, but I don't know what they do. So sorry for not researching it, but <laughs> if it's too complicated, then that's a, that's a downside to this system. It definitely feels like there's a little bit of latency. Not terribly bad, but uh, this this doesn't seem to track perfectly for fast stuff. And also it has a trouble with slides and hammer-ons, which I play a lot of hammer-ons and a lot of slides. And so it's interesting that it is um, sort of doing a pitch bend, which I'm not sure how much Piano Tech likes it, but it's fine. <laughs> Um, so here's just a little hammer on so you can hear how that sounds and I'm trying to hammer this on as hard as I can What about tapping? Hmm <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, it's pretty cool sounds. Um, not exactly what I'm playing, but... That is, uh, it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. It's a little bizarre. Um, it seems to pick up best if I pick hard and uh, articulate every note. The tracking is not terrible. It's not amazing, and there's not really many adjustments to do on this MIDI pickup. Uh, if you can see this, this is the MIDI pickup uh, in front of the bridge here. And there's only two screws on either side, so there's not many adjustments. It looks like it's already pretty close, and it is slightly curved, so it follows the angle of the um, fretboard radius. So overall, that's uh, pretty cool. It, it does do polyphonic tracking, so that's nice. Would this be useful? Possibly. I mean, if I only knew how to play guitar and I needed to throw some stuff onto piano, or if I wanted to get MIDI data of what the notes I'm playing are and put that through something else, could be useful. I don't think as like a solo instrument um, I would use it, but... This jack is a little loose and when it when it wiggles around it freaks out. What about let's try our clavinet <laughs> since the clavinet is already like a guitar piano. What about playing a guitar piano on a guitar? <laughs> I mean, come on, you want to do that, right? Uh, no. Yes, yes and no. I like it, I like it. It just, it doesn't quite play like good enough that um, that I love it. I would just say you have to, you know, with, with a MIDI guitar, you have to have low expectations, and then it's really cool. Let's just check out the harpsichord real quick, and then um, we can play some synthesizers, because that's fun, right? Maybe that would make more sense for this. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's, if you're very deliberate, super deliberate, the tracking is not bad. I mean, it's impressive for what it is, I guess. Um, you know, it is just taking analog strings and turning them into MIDI. So it's not bad. It's not great. And I don't know if MIDI technology has probably gotten better. Yes, 
it's very sensitive and it doesn't respond exactly the way I mean obviously it's a guitar trying to play like a harpsichord it's going to be a little weird but it doesn't respond exactly the way I would expect it to and so it's a bit confusing what about some cool synthesizers do I have any cool synthesizers maybe oh you know what let's try BBC Symphony Orchestra nice little plug-in pretty simple pretty straightforward doesn't have a ton of sounds but what it has is pretty nice so let's listen to some violins With violins, like the tracking doesn't matter quite as much. Um, this plugin doesn't have the best control for solo violins, anyways. But again, uh, this is more something I would use for like background orchestration if I was going to use a MIDI guitar, not uh, actual lead playing. So it seems like to get the best speed and, and clear tracking out of this, it helps to really like uh, play staccato and take your finger off. I do that very deliberately. So uh, I'm really stopping the note before the next note because sometimes it seems like I'll change frets and it'll stay on the previous note if I slide to it. So it seems like the best tracking is to play very sort of abruptly in a way that wouldn't sound good if you could hear the guitar. But that's okay. What about um, oboes? Let's play some oboe. I think you could definitely track some background stuff if you're patient with it. Would I? No, I have a keyboard. <laughs> the keyboard works a lot better for that. If I didn't know how to play piano at all, and I wanted to spend a lot of money on a MIDI guitar, I mean, these things aren't cheap. Uh, you need a guitar first, and then you gotta get this whole MIDI set up. Maybe you could find a used one like this for not too much. Um, not really sure. But I know the new ones can be a few hundred dollars, and uh, there's also a plugin I saw the other day, I forget what it's called now, but it essentially does the same thing, but in software, you don't need any specific hardware pickup, works with any guitar, it's like 150 bucks, and um, if I was really in the market for that, I would check that out, maybe before buying one of these. That's pretty nice. I like the harp sound. But uh, as you can see, yeah, the tracking is not 
the most amazing in the world. Um, let's do something a little different. Let's play some drums, okay? Definitely something I'm not going to be doing any other way, right? Uh, I want to play drums on guitar. That's the coolest thing to do. All right, so here we have my favorite drum kit right now. Because <laughs> I don't have to do anything, and I'm lazy. Um, this is the One Kit Wonder Metal. I really like it. I use it for my demos all the time now because uh, it sounds really good, and I don't have to do anything with it. What I'm gonna have to do, and there's probably a way to do this on the interface, but I'm going to MIDI transposer. Okay, I'm gonna transpose this down an octave. The real question is, can I play more than one thing at once? All right, for as difficult as playing the drums on the guitar is, I'm gonna give that a no-go. Play it on the keyboard. Play it, it's easier to play a real drum kit, even if you don't know how to play one. Learn one, it'll, you'll probably learn quicker than getting anything good out of that. Uh, but that is fun, uh, so I like that. That's cool, that's cool. But fun is not enough, okay? Everything is fun, that doesn't mean it's useful. While we're on the drums, let's do one more, one more drums here. This is DR910. And there you see, I am an amazing MIDI drummer guitarist. Excellent. So now we've got the real classic, the old MIDI sounds. So the tracking is obviously going to be the same, but let's play some cheesy MIDI sounds.
some of you very smart listeners might be thinking, well, what about that MIDI guitar sound? And you're right. What about it? What if we played that MIDI guitar on an actual guitar, completely defeating the point of a MIDI guitar, right? Uh, it's not quite tracking correctly. wanting to do that for years though admittedly it's not quite as satisfying as i thought because it feels like i'm playing in in sludge sludge yeah not a good kind of sludge like tar everything is sticky i could play it a lot faster like it should be but Yep, so there you go. Uh, that's what you wanted. I hope that's what, you, that's what I want. Uh, I'm going to speak for myself. That's what I wanted. Uh, it's not quite as great as I hoped for, but it's pretty great. So there's that. Um, what about like a real synthy thing here? It's like a digital synth module. <laughs> Drop it in the comments. What movie is that? live beat here. Can I play the drums well enough here to make it worth it? But we can make it work, okay? We're gonna make it work because that's the whole point. We're gonna make it work. have it that's my beautiful song i hope you enjoyed it i didn't really expect to write anything but um inspiration struck and that's a good sign always though i will say playing the melody for this 
a little bit tricky. Uh, took me a couple tries, so yeah, not great for that. But the chords worked out pretty well, and I mean, honestly, this didn't take all that long to do. I spent maybe, what, 20 minutes writing that? Okay. It's only 45 seconds, but good enough. What's the verdict? I don't know. Uh, I have this, I was just working on it, and I thought I would share it with you. That's the verdict. I think it's fun. I think it's definitely fun. I think it's not probably worth how much these things used to cost, which is like, I don't know, $800, which with inflation would be a lot more. So they're pretty cool though. I really like the idea of MIDI guitar. It's just getting it to actually track perfectly is quite difficult. And this does not track perfectly. Maybe I could set it up better, but it doesn't feel like it's poorly set up so much. It just feels like the limitations in the system when I tweaked with it, it just made it worse. So I'm gonna say that this is probably set up about as well as it can be. It's just the MIDI guitar. If you play it the right way and you're very careful and deliberate about your notes, it kind of works. It works okay. It's not uh, the best, but hey, it's fun. That's the MIDI guitar. I'm glad I got to play one. Who knows the next time I'll have one of these in my hands. Maybe quite some time from now. Maybe never. Maybe I'll find a MIDI unit for like 50 bucks and I'll buy it. I don't know. I think it would be fun to play with like a vintage synthesizer. And uh, well, I have one, but I don't think I'm going to drag it out for this. <laughs> so anyways, that's the MIDI guitar in a nutshell. Uh, not related to the MIDI crab. This is a different kind of MIDI. It's just a foot switch. Um, this is actually practical, despite not being nearly as fun, maybe. This is actually useful. This is so-so. It's, it's a more almost of a novelty. I could see it having some place for some people. But honestly, learn the keyboard. Just, just play the piano. If you want to be serious about like composing and orchestrating and you feel limited by the guitar, get a keyboard. You don't even have to be good at it. Just, just do it. Quantize the notes. It's fine. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. All right. That wraps it up for today. I hope you enjoyed this little experimental dive into MIDI guitar. Thank you.